I would like you, I would like you to tell me um, how you explain this painting. With what's, well, the, what's the exact title of the painting? It's two figures. Okay. And uh, it shows. It's a kind of. It's the first picture after Bacon's black triptychs. The black triptychs where he commemorates George Dyer's death. You know, he was very, very affected by George Dyer's suicide in a hotel just round, you know, just down the street from here. During the vernissage at Grand Palais, right? That's right. What year uh, was it? Uh, that was uh, 71. <gasps> so four years after? Yes. Well, for those, the intervening years, he'd been painting, he'd been commemorating, he'd been coming to terms with George's disappearance, his loss, his death. Uh, and this is the first picture where he goes back into remembering uh, the tender, erotic memories that he had of their uh, love affair. And this is basically, it's a, uh, an image which shows him and George uh, tumbling in a sort of sexual embrace through, through space. It's a very strange and very moving image because uh, for me, it's like the release of, of sexual passion uh, and you're falling, falling, falling through, through space and there's no, there's no sort of gravity. You're, you're, you're lost in the other person and just tumbling together. It's about movement, right? Yes, it's about movement and it's about, um, well, it's about ejaculation, really. It's about sort of uh, losing the sense of yourself. Oh. Um, uh, and so the two bodies are completely intertwined. But at the beginning, there was a, uh, before there was a dwarf looking at the uh, at yes. the scene, right? Yes, yes. And he cut the, the yes. canvas in two. In two, yes. What, what's the because story he wanted for you? To, I think he felt that was too much of a narrative element. Uh, the dwarf was very beautiful uh, painting in its own right. So now there are uh, where there was one. Um, I would have thought fabulous painting. There are now two beautifully painted. Um, and where is the dwarf today? It's in a collection, I believe, in Australia. And what's the symbol of the dwarf? Uh, an onlooker, a witness. Uh, because I think this is uh, this is something. Don't ask me uh, uh, too closely about this. I think this is a certain practice where uh, people uh, like being watched when they're doing what they're doing. Ah, okay. And what about the colors that he used? I remember when I met you first, you 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 pointed out that uh, Bacon was a decorateur formerly, yes. and colors were very important to him. Oh yes, well uh, they were important to him as a as a painter too, of course. Um, well, the colors are uh, above all; it's the flesh colors. The the flesh is beautifully beautifully painted uh, against quite a stark background. Uh, but the uh, I mean, I think. Bacon is one of the great, great painters of flesh. Uh, extraordinary, gives this extraordinary sort of sumptuous quality to flesh. Uh, and he was very interested, of course, in male bodies. That was his uh, big passion. And so he became, I suppose, the great poet of, um, of male desire and male flesh, of male physique, of male beauty. And male violence. It's violent, but I mean, I think he thought, uh, as one might uh, quite reasonably think, of uh, the act of sex as quite a violent thing. <laughs> That's a good conclusion. 